this is me now, but at one point I could not do a simple split. Now, I know you're probably wondering how can someone go from not having the splits to having a full wall split? Well, a few months ago, I moved out of my childhood home and found a notebook with the exact stretch routine I used to get flexible inside it. Let's do it together so you can get flexible too. We're going to start with 10 side reaches. This is just a light warm up stretch, but we'll be getting into the deeper stretches later on in the routine. It's always a good idea to start with some simple movements before moving into the more intense stretches. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Next, we're going to quickly warm up our neck by looking from side to side 10 times. For our last neck stretch, tilt your head from side to side 10 times. We're now going to stretch out our arms starting with placing one arm across your body. I always like to do arm stretches before moving into stretches that take arm and shoulder flexibility like back bends, which we'll be doing later. You can now switch arms. Now place one arm behind your head, pushing it down to place your hand on your back. with the other arm. That was our last arm stretch so you can now sit down and then lay on your back for the next few stretches. Once you're laying on your back, lift up one leg and pull it as close to your chest as you can. Make sure to keep both legs straight to get a good stretch in your hamstrings. Staying in the last stretch, try to pull one arm through to bring your leg even further down. I forgot about this stretch, but I used to do it all the time when I started getting flexible. We are now going to repeat the same two stretches on the other leg. You can now lower your leg and then push up into a back bend to stretch your back. If you're not ready for a back bend yet, then you can always do the modified version. What I like to do to get a deep stretch in a back bend is walk my hands and feet as close together as they can go. Remember, just go as far as it takes to feel a stretch, it should not be painful. You can now place your hands and feet as far as they would normally go in a back bend and then rock back and forth 10 times. This is great for getting a deeper stretch in your shoulders, which is super good if you're trying to learn a scorpion or a needle.
For your final stretch in the back bend, try to sit your hips down to go into what I call a chair back bend. If you've been doing the modified back bend, this could be a good time to challenge yourself and try to push up into the full back bend. I don't want to get hurt, cause I'm not ready to give you my heart. You can now get out of your back bend either by standing up like I did or just laying down and then we're going to do a standing pike stretch. To do this stretch, reach down pushing your chest towards your legs, making sure to keep your back straight and point your head towards the ground. From your pike stretch, step your hands and feet a bit further apart to do 10 backwards kicks. Try to kick your legs into as deep of a split as you can do while keeping them straight. Now lift up the leg you were kicking and use your arm to try to pull it even further. We're about to repeat the kicks on the other leg so soon, but first let's do a standing straddle stretch. You can now transition to the other side to repeat the backwards kicks on your other leg. Like we did on the other side, try to lift your leg to pull it even further. and then go into a downward dog stretch. In this stretch, try to push your heels towards the ground and your chest back. In your downward dog, we're going to go into a seal stretch, which is basically arching back as far as you can while laying on your stomach. We are now going to repeat this stretch, except this time try to arch back to grab onto your ankles. If you can reach all the way to grab your ankles and still don't feel a stretch, then try to straighten out your legs. I still do this stretch sometimes now, but it was one of my absolute favorite daily stretches when I first started stretching. You can now get out of that stretch and then push back up into your downward dog. Sure. So we can slide down into as far of a split as you can do next. Once I got my splits all the way down, I started doing an over split here instead. So if you can do the splits, that's a great more advanced stretch to do.
Rotate your hips to the center to go as low down in a middle split as you can. For our final stretch of this routine, we're going to do splits on the other side. Remember, in order to see true and lasting results, you need to stay consistent with stretching, so I recommend to do this routine daily like I did. Or if you can't do daily, you could try every other day, whatever works for you. I hope this routine helps you, and I also found some other routines that I did starting contortion, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those.